today on Moving Day. Three generations of the same family living under one roof. Don't you want to go out and get a flat of your own? I do. And it's not all happy families at the new place. I miss my own suite. There isn't one in this bed, in this house. Today we've come to the West Midlands to meet up with three generations of an extended family who all live under one roof and they're moving tomorrow. They're moving from a modern four-bed detached property in the village of Wombourne to the outskirts of nearby Wolverhampton to a period place with bags of character. So it's a move from the country to the city. Shall we meet the movers? Let's go. Let's do it. Meet the Williams family. Brummy Jeff is a design and technology teacher and Welsh lass Bev teaches history. They married two and a half years ago, but Jeff didn't just acquire a wife, he got live-in mother-in-law Barbara and Bev's two teenage kids, Catherine and Richard, into the bargain. Brave man, and we're here to see how they all get on. Hiya. That was oh, great. Hi, 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 Hi Gavin. Hi, Dean. Are you Come right, mate? Kettle's on. Oh, fantastic. Well, good morning. Hello good morning. there. How are you doing? How are we all today? Fine. Would you like a drink of tea? Oh, Barbara, oh, yes, thank please. you very much there indeed. You are. Thank you very much. That's That's great fine. timing. Very nice indeed. Oh. Do you want one, Jeff? I've got one, please. That's your mother in law Cheers. giving you a cup of coffee. Well, I almost forgot about that. She does look after me, and you know? then she does look know? after me. Yeah. I do. So, the big move tomorrow, are you yeah. all prepared? Are you we organised? Are. Absolutely. We are? Yes. All yeah, ready? Definitely. All packed up, ready to go. Yeah. Right, do you mind if I have a look round? Because I'm a bit of a guru when it comes to all things packed. So yeah. I'll leave that with you when I go and check this <laughs> out. Yeah. 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 No, I won't, I won't take anything out, don't panic. This place has four bedrooms and a lovely garden, which is Barbara's pride and joy. It seems like a nice, quiet area. The new house, on the other hand, is on a busy main road into Wolverhampton. So why on earth are you moving? Well, that's a big. good question. Um, <laughs> it's a bigger house. It's yes. got five bedrooms, um, but it's an older house. It's got a little bit more character. It's a Victorian house. So that's one of the reasons. So who has been really driving this move to happen? I think Beverly, probably. Beverly. Yeah. <laughs> and you're a history teacher, Bev. Were you kind of looking for a house with a bit more history, a bit more character? Yeah, I do like old houses. Always have done. Um, so, yeah, so I suppose you could say that there was perhaps some link at the back of my head that one of the reasons why I liked it so much. So why were you looking for a house with extra rooms? Yeah, we needed the extra room as a study. At the moment, I'm very busy marking um, exam papers, um, A-level exam papers, so I've got hundreds of those all around the place. Um, also, Richard's doing his GCSE revision, so I like to be there to monitor his revision. Hiya, you must be Richard. Hiya. Gavin, how you doing? Yeah, not bad. What are you up to here? Revising exams. This, this is meant to be the dining room. There's papers everywhere. Yep. What are you doing then? What kind of things? Anything I can help you with? Um, geography, graphics, German, the park. English, science, maths. Those ones not so good at. <laughs> Woodwork, I can help you out with that. It's quite a lively kind of a house here. What are you looking forward to most, Barbara? I'm looking forward to the garden and the kitchen. Right, so you're a keen gardener and a keen cook. Well, yes, I like making cakes. Right, now you see it's a shame because I come here today hoping for a cake. I hear uh, that you're a legend with your cakes. Absolutely. But no, I haven't cake because Beverly has packed everything up, you see. She's packed everything. So I can't make a cake, can I, without a cake tin? Now, loads of stuff, boxes all over the place here, but you've got five people coming out of a four-bedroom house. There's bound to be a lot of gear. And there's loads more boxes in here. Believe it or not, this used to be their double garage. It's now their staging area. Boxes stacked in here almost up to the ceiling. So what's it like for you, Barbara, living with your son-in-law and your daughter and the, the grandchildren? Do you enjoy that? Yes, at times, yes. Oh. I, well, I've got my bedroom, you see, which I can go and watch television if I want to get away from the noise a little. Now to check out the bedrooms. First stop is Barbara's room. Everything seems boxed up and ready to go here. Part of the deal for moving in was she got the ensuite bathroom at the new place. They haven't got one. I don't know how she's going to feel about that. And finally, Bev and Jeff's room. Wardrobes are still full. That's an easy move, though. Straight into a garment box. These look like they'll come to bits very, very easy. Now, the house is quite modern. It's only 10 years old, boxy and featureless. They've had a go at brightening it up with these little coloured squares on the wall there. 
but I think once they get to their Victorian house, they'll have lots of period features and they can really stamp their own mark on it. Good move. So how did your scout around the house go, Gav? Really, really well. I think they're definitely ready for the move. All the boxes are sorted out, the garage is ready to be unloaded. Mm -hmm. And for two teachers, it's definitely a textbook move. Ooh. But, you know, this move comes at a bit of a bad time. We've got GCSE revision going on, we've got A-level papers that need to be marked. But that is the whole reason why they're moving, is to get the extra space. They need that office to be up and running. I think we really have to prioritise that room tomorrow. Job number one. Definitely. I want to hear more about this new house, and I'm thinking that perhaps you should go and have a chat with Jeff. He's a design and technology teacher and knows a thing or two about DIY. So. A teacher's pet. Or perhaps the dunce. Bye. <laughs> Over the years, Bev and Jeff have acquired a veritable library of over 2,000 books, but they've never had quite the right place to put them. One thing's for sure, they'll be glad to see the back of their makeshift home office. Oh, a bit compact up here, Jeff, isn't it? Yeah, very, very. Yeah, and this is what you've used as the office up until now. Yeah, that's right, yeah. We've had a uh, computer, bookcases and a desk up here. And as you can see, it hasn't really got the creature comforts we'd like. Uh, so the new place we've got is more of a double bedroom size so we can get everything in and have a little bit of space as well. Come on, Barbara, tell me about this new house you've I got don't here. I know, I've only been there once. What was it like when you saw it? I, I sound Welsh as well now. <laughs> So what was it like? You've only seen it once. I was, I was quite impressed with the hallway with the mint and tiles on the floor. Oh, that's lovely, yeah, isn't I think, it? I think so. And yeah, how did okay. you decide who was going to be in what room? Oh, Beverly decides. Now, the new house you're moving to is a Victorian one. It's at least 100 years old. That means lots of upkeep. Yeah. yeah. And uh, how are you going to feel about bringing all your craft, design and technology skills home with you and doing DIY every bank uh, holiday? Well, I'm looking forward to it, yeah. Looking forward to it. It'd be a new challenge. Uh, there wasn't, as you say, there wasn't a lot to do here other than sort of putting cupboards up and that sort of stuff. Uh, so there'll be a bit more challenge for me there, I think. So, yeah, looking forward to the challenge. Now, what about the location? Because that was obviously very important to you. Did you want to go back to be nearer into Wolverhampton? Yes, we fancy going really into the town. Now, um, it's on the main road, so there's buses every five minutes, so that's great for Mum, Catherine, Richard. Um, we've got the car, so it's OK. But, I mean, it's on the main bus route. It's local for everything, really. But Barbara's not quite ready to trade in her nippy little runaround for a bus pass just yet. What about parking? You've got loads of cars at the front. That, that was one problem. of the drawbacks. It's not a, it's I a... cannot turn round in that short <laughs> space. I like a big drive. That's true, though, isn't it? You can't manoeuvre. Oh, dear, Barbara's not a happy granny. While Gav helps Jeff down with those bookcases, I'm giving Barbara a hand to pack up her baking ingredients. Oh, and uh, what's this? Barbara, a secret stash of alcohol in your baking cupboard. Yes, a quick swig now and again. No, <laughs> actually, I, I soak the fruit in it and put it in my fruit cakes. Lovely. Um, Beverly doesn't like brandy or any alcohol in cakes, so I tell her it's cinnamon and she mm. just eats it. She does she buy it? Yes, does. Like your style, Barbara. Yeah. What would you say is your signature dish? I fiddle, I make shortbread and, you know, brownies. Oh, I, you know, I'm a huge fan yeah. of chocolate fudge brownies. Yeah. I have to have one just about every day. I love them. Yeah, I don't make those all the time. You have to be in the mood. Well, I've thinking... gone, I have to be in the mood now to do that. Do you think you might be in the mood tomorrow, you know, no. during moving day? <laughs> I'm hoping that perhaps we could try out the new oven, you and I, maybe bake some oh, brownies. Oh, gosh, can you imagine that oven? I dread, I dread to think. I've never seen it, really, only in that well, you picture. Could, you know, it could be a sort of trial and everything. Let's see if the thing works. I think we'll have to buy a new one, or I'll have to buy a new one. Well, what do you think, Sal? Well, I've seen the particulars of the house and I can see why they've fallen in love with it because it looks beautiful on paper, but you know what they say, location, location, location. It's on a busy, busy trunk road. The car's whizzing past. I know they've got double glazing, but still, not very good for parking, etc. It's going to be a bit noisy as mm. well, isn't it? Well, I know that um, Jeff's kind of like really excited about his new project, getting stuck into the DIY. Both the kids are going to love it because it's closer to the town centre and as young adults, that's where they're going to be spending most of their time. Yeah, I know Barbara's really up for a challenge as well, but, you know, I'm not convinced about this. So we don't know yet. Good move or bad move? I'll reserve judgment until tomorrow. OK. It's the Williams family's last night at their home in Wombourne. Barbara's checking she's got all her cuttings and Catherine's just back from her job in the centre of Wolverhampton. Well, I think um, my mum's always sort of for years now wanted one of those Victorian style houses and um, she just fell in love with the house the minute um, she saw it, you know. So uh, once the rest of us had gone round, that obviously we fell in love with it too. But I think she sort of initiated it and the more we talked about it, the better, uh, the more better idea it became. Everybody seems really supportive of the move. 
and there doesn't seem to be um, any misgivings at all. Seems to be all positive vibes from it, so that's really good. I'll miss my own suite. There isn't one in this bed in this house, but um, maybe the bedroom's so big I may have one in, put in. I don't know. I mean, modern is convenient. I like modern, but my daughter likes old. So we'll have to see how it goes. Coming up, the move is imminent, but Barbara still needs convincing. I'll be looking onto a main road when we move. Is that going to be your view? Yeah. Oh, is it? Catherine's got the room looking at the garden. It's the morning of Bev. Jeff. Barbara. Catherine. And Richard's moving day. No sign of the truck yet. All quiet on the West Midlands front. But I think it's about to kick off. Come on, Sal. Let's do it. How are you doing this morning? Fine, Hi. great. Yeah, great, thanks. Good, happy moving day to you all. Thank Cheers. Thank you very much. I'm looking very relaxed and calm and plenty of time to drink coffee and things. We are. Well, these removal men are late, you see. So How late are they? Ten minutes. This is a disgrace. Yeah. They're going to get detention at the end of the day, aren't they? Definitely. This is not good. The roll call has all gone horribly <laughs> yeah. wrong right from the start. <laughs> not impressed. 16-year-old Richard's GCSE start next week, so the new home office is today's top priority. I've decided to take those bookcases in the moving day van so we can unload them straight away at the other end. Up on the boys. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> Where are you going to park? Just on the front. OK, good luck. Okay. Just don't stay in my van. No. OK? No. Big trouble if you do. No. Well done, boys. A narrow escape. They soon make up for their late arrival by getting stuck in with all the heavy stuff. But someone's about to get a ticking off. Incident! <laughs> this has not been very well planned. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a few... No, what does the lieutenant have got It's not. I think this is one of Catherine's boxes, myself. Let's just double-check. Happy 18th birthday. Catherine, it's a disgrace, wherever you are. There's no sign of her, but everyone else is pulling their weight. Why, what are you two doing in here? We're going to clean. When the yeah, we're going to clean. Yeah. You're just standing in here doing absolutely nothing. What, you listen to the radio? <laughs> <laughs> this is not a moment for just, you know, skiving off. You're just both sort of standing watching, well, the removal men. The, 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 they're, they're being paid, so yeah. I don't see why we've got to do it if they're getting paid for it. What? But those poor boys are working up a sweat. The least you can do is make them a cup of tea. Right, Jeff, how are you doing? Hi, Gavin. Not too bad. Just emptying the last wardrobe before we get it apart. Well, I, th I think we'll get away with just taking it down into three sections. We keep the middle one, because that's all one unit. Yeah, OK. If we keep the middle one as one, leaving the doors on it, we can always stick a bit of bubble wrap across the front just to stop Brilliant. getting damaged. Right. And then if we have the either side of it as the two uprights, and this plinth should just lift off. OK. Now, you've unplugged it all so far, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, all the lighting stuff's uh, unplugged, yeah. That's the beauty of flat-pack furniture. It's as easy to pull apart as it is to put up. Right, just sort out Barbara's wardrobe. I've done one box, I'm on to the second one. And look, you've just got to have a look at this. Classic. Barbara's ensuite bathroom. A touch of Hollywood glamour here on the loo seat. Anyway, I wonder if the sparkle carries through to the wardrobe. I've done this side of the wardrobe, that was quite plain, but I know Barbara, she's got a bit of personality about her, maybe a little bit of spark on the evening, see if we can find something exciting. And I'll tell you what, a slight similarity with Gavin. Big girl's blouse? Leave it out, Sal. This wardrobe's a lot heavier than it looks. All that's left now is the garage. Hmm. Everything at the front, so yeah, all, these, all, the books. all this stuff here. Yeah. Right up to there. I think there's still books. Yeah, so some of this is some of the ones. I mean, it's got marked on it books. So that's everything that's got to go in that study. And yeah, then the. Um, garage stuff on the far side. All the garage stuff's at the back there the bikes, golf clubs. Yeah. Not to mention the tools, the freezer, and the table tennis table. God, look at all these bikes up there. How's it going? Believe it or not, all this lot is out of the garage. 
And what really worries me about the new place is uh, the lack of outbuildings, lack of, lack of storage they've got when you get there. Oh, outside space, not good. There might be a shed down there, I'm not sure. I think there is, but I've got an idea, Sal. I reckon mm-hmm. if I shoot off now, I can get one sorted and we can have another one there ready to accept the bicycles, the golf clubs, or whatever else they've got to put in there. We could have one built in the garden this afternoon. That'd be beautiful. What a great housewarming gift. That'd be great. I think that'd be good. Well, look, I'm going to stay around here because they've not actually completed yet. I'll wait for the phone call to come through and relax, actually, because everything else has been done. I know, quite, quite well ready for this Why, move, you see their teachers and everything. Oh, right. The report card is excellent so far. OK. What have I got? A gold star? Sorry, honey. It's a big black mark there. Definite attention. But Jeff and Bev get full marks for leaving the house spick and span, straight to the top of the class. With the whole house packed up, there's nothing else anyone can do until the Williams get the keys for the new place. Welcome to Wolverhampton. This is Bev and Jeff's new back garden. Now... Shed storage solutions, that's what it's all about. We've got all this greenery down either side and just in front there so we can disguise anything we put up. There's an existing shed which is here. Bit rickety, but not too bad. It hasn't fallen down yet. It's a handy way to give them an extra little bit of storage and hide it from the house without eating up too much of the garden. This shed has come prefabricated for ease of assembly. But as it's the double door deluxe model, the pros are here to put it up, starting with a good level foundation. Even though the old garden is smaller, Barbara will be sad to leave it behind. It looks so pretty from up here, doesn't it? I was just looking at it, thinking, look at all that TLC down there. Yes. I'll be looking onto a main road when we move. Is that going to be your view? Yeah. Oh, is it? Catherine's got the room looking at the garden. Yeah, it'll be completely different. But it's too late for regrets. The completion call has come through and the house is no longer theirs. The Williams have sold their four-bedroom detached family property in Wombourne near Wolverhampton for £235,000. And they've bought a five-bedroom, three-storey Victorian semi on the city's busy Penn Road for £188,000, which means there's a good bit left over for home improvements. Well, this is nice, this little area at the front. Yeah, it's great. You should get all your cars on here, don't you think? just get two cars and then we'll put the other one up there. Oh, here we go. This yeah. is fantastic, isn't it? Now, you see, look at your floor. Isn't it terrific? This is what I was telling you about. Yes. Really good impression coming yeah. in the door. Yeah. Fabulous. Oh, quite a deep red in here, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's lovely. And we've got the original fireplaces in oh, the, the dining room and in the lounge. It's good that you've got your double glazing. Yeah. Yeah, that was important. Yeah, I mean, the traffic is sort of thundering by on that main road. It does, but you don't hear it because of the glazing. Let's so. listen for a second. You see, it's completely quiet, isn't it? Yeah. There you Excellent go. stuff. Little haven inside. No, very nice. Original features everywhere. Yeah. None of that modern boxy thing. We're now moving into a new era of kind of Victorian extravaganza. Hopefully. That's the reason for moving. Upstairs, the decor isn't quite so in keeping with the period. But Jeff's a design teacher, so I can't see it staying this way for too long. There's a steady procession of stuff coming in, but in the garden, Barbara's already planning what's got to go. Not very keen on peonies. They look pretty, but they just drop and make a mess. Those will be coming out. At the bottom of the garden and well out of sight, our housewarming present is coming on a treat. So I've nipped upstairs to build some much-needed shelving for the Williams home study. And we're using inch MDF, which is an inch fat all the way down there. If you use anything smaller than that, a smaller material, say Conti board, which was 15 millimetres, you'll find that once you get it loaded up and it's only held at either end and at the back, you'll see the middle here will start to belly and it'll bow down like so. And over the years, that will eventually sag, which is not good. Now, we're going to fix all the brackets into position, but we're not actually fixing the shelves because I think Jeff's going to be doing a little bit of decorating because this isn't exactly very tranquil for an office. So I'll get all the timber cut up and we can start fixing it into position. The shelves supporting battens are made from 2 by one timber chopped to length. It's an easy way to turn dead space in the alcove into useful storage. Jeff's keeping in with the mother-in-law by making sure that Barbara's bed is fixed up first. She's unpacking in the kitchen, but there's no sign of any of that baking yet. Now, Catherine, how are you getting on? Hello, I'm good. I've got um, most of the stuff in my room now. 
I'm pretty sure I know where everything's going to go. It's just a case of getting finding everything and getting all of that. I know there's a lot of furniture in here just now. Yeah, yeah. But the space in here is fantastic. Yeah, compared it to the is. last room. Yeah, it was. It was too small, the last room. But you personally, I mean, don't you want to go out and get a flat of your own? I do. When I've got some money, I will do. I do. Is that the kind of the dream thing? The dream yeah. scenario that I have a flat of my own? Yeah. Yeah, you want to get on that property ladder yes, pretty quickly. Mm. You can. That'd be great. Yeah. I finished my shelving in the home study. Now all the Williams books can be in one place and Richard's got no excuses for not doing his exam revision tomorrow. The rest of the house is taking shape too and Barbara's bedroom should be a haven of peace, albeit without an ensuite bathroom. You'll never guess what this is. Right, are you ready? Yeah. Ooh, I'm so excited. Here we go. Oh. in your oven, I wanted to test oh, it out. Oh, gosh. Oh, aren't We've you wonderful? I know, chocolate fudge brownies, you've got flat jacks. Oh. It's for everyone to share. Excellent. Homemade cookies. Isn't she oh, good? good. Oh, we have one, yes. Can you have that? Thank and you. we'll have a wee glass of champagne to toast your Excellent. new house. Uh, Do you like your chef? Oh. Happy new home. Congratulations. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. May you may have many... Bye-bye, Wombourne. Hello, Wolverhampton. Yep. Try saying that after a glass of rocket fuel. <laughs> well, that's it from today's moving day here in wonderful Wolverhampton. Now, if you're about to move house and you're looking for some tips to get you in the mood, then why not check out our website? It's itv.com slash moving day. <laughs> so from Sally, myself and the gang, cheers and see you soon. Bye. 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 Since moving day, the shed's proved invaluable. And despite her earlier reservations, Granny Barbara has settled in really well.